Hi, my name is Denise from Intergeo TV and I'd like to welcome you to the Tech Talk, which is today about monitoring solutions. And two experts are with me virtually in the studio today. It's Alberto Bici and Lorenz Meyer. Hello, hello and welcome. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Yeah, just let me say some words to you. Lorenz, um, you are CEO of GeoPrevent. We will talk about that later, which is also part of Hexagon. And Alberto, he is president of the Division of Radar and Monitoring at Hexagon Geosystems. And yeah, I just said we are virtually meeting today. Just let us start with a question. So how Hexagon is helping those professionals to keep up with all the uh, ongoing technology innovations and the situation con, um, looking on uh, monitoring solutions. Uh, regarding uh, the monitoring uh, needs, uh, we are facing today increasing uh, hazard coming uh, from uh, climate and uh, ecosystem changes, such as uh, landslide, um, glaciers uh, which melt, avalanches, rock falls following uh, heavy rainfalls. And also, if we look at uh, the infrastructures, our infrastructures uh, have been built many decades ago and they are aging, subject also to increased uh, stress uh, caused by increased uh, urbanization and construction activities. So, for example, uh, uh, we, we, we know that in the US alone, 40% of their 600,000 bridges are more than 50 years old. And uh, it's calculated that one over 11 uh, are structurally deficient. Again, so uh, if we look also at the mining activities, uh, uh, the global industrialization uh, is uh, asking for more and more raw materials. And this uh, poses uh, new constraints and new demand on the safety of the workers in open pit and under underground mines. Yeah, and um, let's have a look to Lorenz. Um, Lorenz, I, I found out that GeoPrevent develops monitoring and alarm systems also for natural hazards. And um, yeah, just tell us something about uh, that situation of GeoPrevent. What are you developing? What are your solutions for? Yeah, we help um, communities. We help uh, road and railway uh, users to, to be safe. Um, we are a leading provider of monitoring solutions for natural hazards. So we develop for each site, we develop a customized system that is adapted to the local needs of the situation, to the local needs of the customer. Um, so for example, we develop systems that can predict ice falls or, or rock falls, um, where we have time, for example, to evacuate people or uh, to close a road. So there is uh, systems that can predict these kind of events, we call them warning systems, where we have time, time on the order of hours to days to weeks in order to prepare for an event. But there are also other systems that we call alarm systems, where we don't see any precursors. So, for example, an avalanche might release without any prior warning. So, in such situations, we have time, for example, to close a road within a few seconds, and the avalanche might reach the road after a minute. And, and this is usually enough to stop traffic and to prevent that people in cars or in trains are hit by such an event. So for many of these systems, we use radar. And, and, and why do we do that? Um, radar has a big advantage. It works in any weather. It works uh, day and night. Uh, and especially for systems where you have to react within seconds, it's important that those systems are working 24-7 uh, because with the example of avalanches, most of them happen in winter when it's dark and when it's snowing. Uh, so radar is the only technology that allows to detect those avalanches reliably. Um, we do the same for rockfall as well. So we, so we have systems that close um, roads also for rockfall and not only for avalanches. Uh, in some areas, this can happen 100 times a day. We have a very active site where a road is closed many times a day and then also automatically reopened in case the rocks stop above the road. And this is, a, I would say, a, 
a cheap alternative to, to structural measures. What, what has been done in the past, in the last let's say, maybe 50 years, is building tunnels, building dams, building retaining structures for, for these kind of events. Um, that's a good solution, but it's also a very expensive solution. And if you are responsible for a road network, for example, and you have your budget, then you might need all your budget for a single problem by building a tunnel, but all the other, whatever, 99 sites are still unprotected. So by monitoring, you, you can solve the problems in a cheaper way and at the same time install the systems on many more sites with the same budget. So that's a big advantage of monitoring. What is important is that you choose the right technology and, and the right combination of sensors. So I mentioned we use a lot of radar, but also we combine it with other tools. We combine it with vibration measurements, with laser measurements, uh, with GNSS measurements, um, weather stations, and so on. Uh, so all these sensor data is combined, and, and, and we developed algorithms that allow, in the end, to maximize the probability of detection. So to maximize the probability that we detect an event that needs to be detected, but at the same time, we keep a very low false alarm rate because it's, it's important that you only close the road if it's really necessary because otherwise if there is too many false alarms people will not respect the traffic light anymore. Anyway. So okay. that's that's kind of the secret to <laughs> to protect roads or railways from, from these kind of natural events in, a, in an efficient way. Okay so um, thanks for that um, and of course I as I'm part of the Intergeo communication team and we're looking forward to the first digital Intergeo edition where, where also um, companies like Hexagon will launch, will show their innovations. I'm also re really curious to get more information or details on um, what are the latest technologies in monitoring solutions you can then um, show um, um, interested visitors or guests of Intergeo at uh, the Hexagon um, virtual booth. Um, so maybe it's a question for Alberto to start with yeah. no, answering. Uh, yes. Hexagon uh, has a wide range uh, of uh, advanced monitoring technologies products. Uh, uh, since long time, uh, uh, you know that uh, Leica Geosystem developed and introduced in the monitoring uh, market uh, the geodetic instruments uh, such as Total Station, GNSS, laser uh, scanners, and uh, the related software for processing and visualizing uh, the data like Geomos, and these have been applied to all the natural and man-made uh, hazards that uh, I mentioned before. And uh, Exxon has been uh, always a leader in this uh, technology and uh, continues to improve uh, these products uh, uh, to be at the forefront of the technology. Here at the Intergeo, there will be important announcement about a new geodetic instrument and software for monitoring. In recent years, uh, Hexagon, through the acquisition of IDS GeoRadar, uh, added to the geodetic technology, the radar technology. As uh, also Lawrence mentioned, uh, the interferometric radar technology in particular, or the radar technology in general, is gaining more and more interest in monitoring because of the benefits that uh, this technology can offer. The night and day continuous uh, all weather uh, uh, working, uh, the fact that uh, you can achieve uh, great distances up to four or five kilometers, uh, the accuracy, you can reach uh, sub-millimetric or millimetric accuracy even uh, at uh, these relatively uh, high distances. The remote nature of the measurement, you don't need to put any reflectors, uh, any target on the monitored scenario. So the radar uh, has become today a complement uh, to the geodetic instruments. Uh, and uh, uh, these offer to the user the opportunity to have uh, a more comprehensive uh, solution, uh, more effective solution for monitoring uh, the different uh, hazards. 
And uh, Hexagon uh, being the owner no, of this different technology is now committed, uh, pursued uh, to the total monitoring concept, which means uh, to continue to provide to the monitoring professionals uh, this wide range, uh, this comprehensive range uh, of different hardwares, but also software which permit to merge and connect the data coming from these different sensors and so to facilitate the interpretation by the user. Maybe just right. an add-on to, to, why, to why we think that that radar is a very important new technology. It's, with radar, you can detect both very slow movements within the ferromagnetic radars. You see millimeter movements over, over days, weeks, or even months. But at the same time, radar can also detect very fast movements, like the movement of a falling rock or a flowing avalanche. Um, it's the same technology, slightly different concepts, but both work day and night in any weather. And, um, well, what do you think will the future of monitoring look like in case of hardware or software? Will there be more monitoring with cameras or with drones or will the technologies just develop? And um, what do you think? What will the future of monitoring look like? And what are the next steps, for example? <laughs> Uh, I think that, uh, say, monitoring will profit uh, uh, more and more from the existence uh, of these uh, different sensors, of these different technologies, because uh, each technology has uh, its uh, benefit and its limitation. So putting together different sensors, different technology uh, help uh, the user to have a, a more complete view of the situation and to have uh, uh, more data to understand uh, uh, what's happening. Of course, uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, the user, the customer can become uh, overwhelmed you know, by this uh, big amount of data coming from different sensors. Then I think that uh, um, an essential frontier you know, uh, of uh, the new technology will be to provide uh, the monitoring professionals uh, with the tools, uh, with software in particular, which is capable uh, of collecting together the data coming from these different sensors to merge, to correlate uh, this data, to help the, the monitoring professional to interpret uh, uh, the situation. This is for sure one of the things uh, where Exxon is committed, not uh, the Already, the Hexagon Geo Monitoring Hub is uh, the current uh, software platform that Hexagon offer for collecting, for aggregating the data coming from different sensors, not only the Hexagon One, but also third party manufacturers, for example, of geotechnical uh, contact sensors. And uh, uh, this software, the Geo Monitoring Hub, is uh, able to aggregate and to provide a unified uh, visualization to the user of the different uh, data. But uh, Exagon is continuing uh, to work on this uh, and uh, new things uh, will come in the future regarding uh, this total monitoring concept. Another frontier uh, for the technology where Exagon is also committed uh, is uh, to have uh, more and more intelligent sensors, more autonomous sensors, uh, which are capable uh, of uh, triggering alarms uh, when uh, there is a risk situation and also taking action like uh, today, the Rockfall radar uh, that uh, from GeoPrevent uh, closed the road when there is uh, a, a possible uh, Rockfall event or an avalanche event. I think in general, we, we are all profiting from the developments in the electronics and, and IT industry, that, that electronics is, is, is getting cheaper and cheaper, computing power is getting more cheaper, uses less energy, which then allows in the end to, to monitor more and, and to have smarter algorithms running on, on, on these devices so that the user does not have to, to check every single sense for himself, but that a, a portal, a cloud solution that can aggregate everything uh, and make interpretation much easier. So thank you very much.
Alberto and Lorenz for this Tech Talk and the monitoring solutions of Hexagon. And I'd really like to invite many visitors as possible to Intergeo Digital to um, yeah, interview you live at the Hexagon booth this um, virtually. And uh, yeah, it was that from my side. you have anything else to add? No, I thank you and uh, I welcome uh, the people visiting Intergeo, although in a virtual way this year, to, to visit our site, our presentations, uh, to see what's new from Hexagon. Okay, thank you and bye-bye. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.